Well, David, three wins out of three, but we certainly didn't make it easy for ourselves today, did we? No, I thought um, positives first. I think defensively, defensive shape was really good. Um, but other than that, it was not acceptable. I think uh, let the lads know that we're, we're better than that today. Um, the application, it felt flat from the warm-up. don't know why. It felt flat from the warm-up. Do you know what? A moment of brilliance has got us out of it. Um, traffic was very good. They played. Um, movement off the floor was really good. Um, I don't think they probably deserved enough to win it, but I think a point would have been a fair result. But we've got to, we've got to be much better. You selected the same side as you did against Skem last week. Did you envisage a similar sort of game when you woke up this morning? Uh, no, I think obviously you're always thinking about the, the the things that can happen during the game, but mostly around the positives. I thought some consistency around the, the selection would have been more beneficial. I think um, there's no reason why we couldn't have controlled the games. Obviously, look, look at both games, they're both one nils, but I thought last last weekend we controlled the game from start to finish. I think today we, we didn't have control a bit for large spells. Um, a lot of that was down to traffic, but more importantly, I'm more disappointed with the way that we've applied ourselves today. As you already alluded to, not a bad strike to win the game, though, was it? <sighs> I mean, the lads on the bench and obviously the staff are talking the same, one of the best goals they've seen in life. Uh, and that's what we can't become dependent on, moments of brilliance and, and, and individuals to win us games. As a team, as a collective, as a unit, we've got to be better all over the park. We've got to be better. And the players know that. You know, they're not, they're not, they're not sat there thinking, celebrating that, that, that we've won the game today. But it's important that when you don't play well, you do straight through games. So there are a couple of positives, but... No, we'll get back to work next week. We've got a cup game Wednesday and then a massive game on Saturday at home. In terms of what he said at half time, obviously you drilled into him about intensity, the second balls. How well do you think they reacted to that in the second period? In spells, it was better. In spells, it was better. But again, overall, I don't, from, this from the start of the game, I don't think we've been good enough. I don't think we've been good enough. I don't think we've achieved the standards that this group's capable of or that are acceptable for, for this football club. So we've got a lot of work to do. We know that. But again, Another three points on the board. You mentioned three points. Obviously, it's another clean sheet as well, isn't it? Um, other than what, let's have it right, was a heart-stopping moment with about a few minutes to go. Pitaluga wasn't really that troubled throughout the game, was he? No, so he hasn't actually made a save throughout the game. I think he's come and claimed a couple of crosses and he's done that really well today. Um, and then, like you said, the sort of chance to drill the cross, whether it was a cross or a shot, I don't know, but sort of eluded everyone through the middle. But that was the only real moment of, of scare. Um, which is why I said probably Trafford didn't deserve to win the game but look at, like I said defensively I thought we were good So in terms of what you can take away from it obviously the positives the three points the great goal but more things for you to, to have a think about over the coming weeks really Definitely and we, we always said it it's not going to be something that we can we can sort of instill our way of playing overnight um, the group is it, it's an exceptionally talented group um, and it doesn't matter what level of football you're playing at, you'll always have games like today where you're, you're off, off form and a bit lacklustre in your performance, but it's about picking up the points when you are, when you are playing like that. Yeah. My concern is, and what my job is now, is to make sure that they are few and far between and not happening sort of a couple of weeks on the bounce. Looking ahead, we've got Northwich Victoria um, and the Chester Union Cup on Wednesday. How will you approach that game? Um, we'll obviously assess the squad and where people are obviously we've got a, a good sized squad lads who are so unfortunately sat on the bench and they're eager to press so we'll probably make a few changes going into the game we'll probably try and look at a few players and that'll be their chance to to win their shirt and look ultimately if any of the lads who started the game today are playing next weekend they can't can't have too many complaints talking about next weekend just finally massive game isn't it against the side doing really well in mosley yeah. you'll be looking for a reaction in terms of performance won't you absolutely mosley a great side um really good manager Dave Fish um, they'll play the right way they're strong they're, they're physical they'll, they'll compete so we need to be better we need to be better next week thanks mate cheers